Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to the fourth Space Station 13 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over chemistry. Oh, crap. This guy's already beating me to what I want. Which is this. Got it. Okay, so you're going to want to get one of these uh, syringe guns. See? They're uh, very useful to uh, pick up because you're going to need them for shooting syringes. I would get a medical bell. Uh, if you want, you can get these glasses right here, the health scanner HUD, uh, as I showed in the last video tutorial. They're pretty useful for uh, seeing people's health and such. So I'm just going to grab everything I need. I guess there's already a box of syringes in there. And I'm stuck in here. Uh, crap, hold on. Okay, so I got out of there thanks to the AI. Um, what I also grabbed was a bottle of space cleaner and this bio suit just in case, which I will be showing later. Well, actually, uh, that's just to protect against uh, diseases and stuff that may get, may get out. That's what it's uh, for. So what I'm going to grab now is a large beaker. There's only a limited amount of these, so I would uh, stock up on them. Don't just take them out of chemistry, but just hold on to them. Make sure they don't get lost. Keep track of them. And uh, so what you're going to want to do is open up the wiki link to a uh, guide to chemistry because it's got a bunch of useful stuff on here. A bunch of useful stuff. You can, you can look up all the recipes. It tells you what everything does. It's very useful. I'm going to have that open up on my second second monitor. So uh, what I'm going to do is just, uh, let's see, maybe look up something cool here. That I, this guy wants to make a survival kit, so what would be useful for a survival kit? Uh, there's a bunch of, bunch of good stuff in here. Let's do space drugs, because uh, those are pretty useful. So, um, right here you can see you got one part mercury, one part sugar, and one part lithium. So, what I'm going to do is insert the, uh, let me just make sure that it's cool with this guy. Okay, it looks cool with him. So I'm going insert to the, insert the beaker and set it to either, this is the amount that's going to go in. So the large beaker, I believe, is 100 units. So I'm going to set this to 30. And I'm going to do one part mercury. So just it's all alphabetized. So mercury, then I'm going to do sugar. And then I'm going to do lithium, and it's going to bubble, and that's how you know it worked. And so now, I, as you can see here, I got this large beaker that's uh, filled with this liquid, and if I put it into the Chem Master right here, you can see it's 90 units of space drugs. That's how much I made. And um, you can analyze it, and it'll tell you the description. So um, from here, I can either create pills or a, uh, a bottle, and I'll just show you a bottle. So if I do put 10 units into it, I can create a bottle and call it Space Drugs, and I'm going to put 10 units. If I want, I can create, if I do, um, say I could do 50, and that's the maximum for a pill, and I can create Space Drugs, 50 units in a pill. Uh, so, now here you can see we got the uh, bottle and the pill, and the pills are, what you can do is you can get these uh, little, you can get pill boxes right here, pill boxes, or they can also just go into your uh, medical belt, but um, you just can grab out a pill bottle from here, go ahead and uh, take the pill, stuff it into there, and then there you go, right there. And I believe the pill bottles can just fit into your belt, yeah. So there you go, really easy to store. You also got the bottle here, which um, I don't really need, it's only 10 units, so I'm going to just put it into disposal. So yeah, that'll be fun for later. Got some space drugs. Also, um, if a recipe calls for plasma, you start out with these uh, solid plasmas right here. And uh, all you gotta do for that is just uh, grind them up. You just put it in, put it in, then you just grind it, and just uh, wait. And then uh, once it's finished, you can see we got 40 plasma, 30 space drugs. What an excellent mixture. 
So if I want to extract the space drugs out of this, all I got to do is just all the space drugs into a 30 unit pill. And then there you go. Now I just got this pure plasma right here. That'll be useful. And uh, as for the space drugs pill, it could just go into my pill box, the pill bottle I saved. Okay, so next we should go on to... What would be fun to put into a grenade? Let's do... Metal foam. Sure. Well, no, that's actually kind of dangerous. Let's do... Foaming agent. Okay, sure. Let's do a foaming agent just to kind of show what that will do for our grenade. So, what I'm going to do here is take out these two smaller beakers. And um, for the foaming agent, you can see here one part lithium, one part hydrogen. Um, I'm pretty sure you can mix this one. Actually, I wonder if there's something else I could show you because that one doesn't really have too much of a use. I want to find something I can show you in a grenade that isn't going to, uh, oh, I wonder what would happen if I just put all these space drugs into a, uh, into a grenade. I'm going to try that, actually. Let me try that out. So if I grab one of these smaller ones and I take this and pour it into the smaller one. Okay, still gonna need a little bit more, I think. So let me uh, make some more of the space drugs. So, mercury, where, well, let me just do sugar, mercury, and then lithium. There we go. Okay, so now we got some more space drugs. Oh, crap, I just realized, I just poured, this is actually full of, uh, I'll put that back in here, that's the plasma. Not bad. So now we got the uh, space drugs, 90 units of it. That'll be uh, good for a grenade. So I'm just going to transfer into this beaker, because you, you can use the large beakers for the grenades, but you won't get them back. And that does mean you can put more of the solution, but it also means you don't get your large beakers back. So hold on, let me look up real quick how to make the grenades, just to make sure I remember how. Okay, I think I remember how. So basically what you want to do is left click the grenade casing with the screwdriver or no 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 you left click the igniter so it says the igniter can now be attached and now you're going to left click the igniter left click the timer and it's going to make this little igniter timer assembly left click click the grenade now we're going to go ahead and put in one of the uh, beakers we're going to save this grenade and hold on let me fill up another beaker full of space drugs and huh Big explosion. Interesting. So, here, I'm just going to go pour this. Okay. So, mercury, sugar, and lithium. Let me get that going again. Sugar, mercury, lithium. Okay, now we're going to need another beaker. And I'm going to transfer 10 units at a time into this. I believe if you right click this, you can set the, yeah, you can set the transfer amount to have it transfer more, but for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna put this beaker in. Okay, now that I got both the beakers loaded, I'm just gonna left click the grenade to lock the assembly, and then there you go. Now all I gotta do is uh, prime it and throw it. So uh, let's go find a group to throw this in. Okay, so this guy looks like he could uh, party a little bit more, so I'm just gonna Find the grenade, kind of toss it in there, and oh, that was a really weak explosion. I wonder if it worked. Uh, it might have actually done better if I had uh, mixed it with some sort of foaming agent. Oh god, this guy needs help. Let me help this guy out. So yeah, that grenade kind of sucked. Uh, I probably should have used something better. Like uh, there's a there's a bunch of different stuff. If you just do Control F and just search grenade, uh, there's a bunch of different stuff in here that it can tell you um, that can be used in grenades. And um, 
mine wasn't. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there's some way I could have made it active, but I didn't do it right. So, just don't do that. Uh, don't do it the way I did. But that's how you make your nades. And so now I'm gonna show you why I got this space cleaner. So hold on. Let me uh, empty it out real quick, or not real quick, but let me just empty this out. Okay, so my space cleaner is now empty, so I'm going to take uh, my large beaker here, and I'm going to look up space lube. So, one part, water, silicon, and oxygen. Now I got this beaker full of space lube, I'm just going to set the transfer amount to 100, and dump the entire thing in. Now... If I have this space cream cleaner full of space lube, I'm going to show you what this does. This is really funny, and it's actually pretty useful. See, look, it makes every, it made that guy slip. Uh, I kind of ran away, but you can see it's kind of making people slip where I sprayed it, and it actually lasts for a pretty decent amount of time. So that's a very useful tool. Oh, wow, that guy looks really hurt, actually. And I just made that guy slip. I feel pretty bad right now, but wow, everyone's slipping. So yeah, that's a funny thing you can do. So now I'm going to show you how, how to use the syringe gun. So let me find, where are my syringes? Let me go grab some. Okay, so I got this syringe right here. I'm just going to put it in my pocket while I create something. What do we want to inject people with? Um, See, uh, what's something that's not too bad but funny? Uh, I know that there's one. Hold on, let me look for it. It's super funny. All right, well here I can't. Oh, this will work. Um, causes d confusion and dizziness. This is essential to make space cell It's called cryptobilin. I'm gonna make some of this. Put it in my syringe and inject someone with a little bit of it. So, potassium, oxygen, and sugar. So I got this huge big thing of it. I'm only going to need 15 units because that's all the syringe will hold. I've got that now. So now I'm going to just take my syringe gun. One hand, I'm going to load in the syringe. Now I got that ready. And there seems to be some sick guy. Or, yeah, some sick dude just kind of sneezing out there so once I get the chance I'm gonna shoot someone okay I just shot this guy in the upper right I just shot him I'm gonna kinda see what that does it seems to be really really dizzy right now he can't really move straight yeah that's pretty funny so oh god this guy is see these guys with the sad faces they're all sick right now and that's why i got the bio suit in case anything like this happened but uh, i hate getting sick in this so i'm trying to just dodge everyone but yeah that's why you want to get a bio suit uh, when stuff like this happens so now i'm going to show you an actually useful pill it's called a foaming or foam surf Surface hand? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Some guy put it, put his ID here for no reason. Um, shit, I need a mask. But uh, what this uh, pill does is just creates foam everywhere. Um, it's pretty useful for cleaning and annoying people. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, find a, I guess, med bay. Sure, I'll throw it in here. Cause why not? You can see here it just creates foam everywhere and it cleans it up pretty well. So yeah, uh, that's basically it for chemists. Sorry uh, if I didn't get to everything. The this, this station's really chaotic right now, so I'm kind of just trying to make do right now. Uh, I'm going to feed this guy my 30 unit space drugs pill. Okay, he didn't want it. I'll just take it. And I'll take the other one, too. Okay, so check in for the next video tutorial. If I missed anything, just tell me in the comments. I'll go over it either in a comment or in a, maybe a part two video. But it seems like I got everything pretty well. Just uh, look up the recipes, do the correct, part it out correctly, and um, 
help everyone out, just get them what they need, and look up the recipes from the wiki link in the description. Alright, hope you guys tune in next time.